In other videos, I've shown you how to use the sine and the cosine rules, and I just wanted to pause for a second and to uh, prove why why they work. Um, so we'll start with the cosine rule, um, and here's the cosine rule: a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus two bc cos a. Um, first thing you might just notice about this is actually if uh, a is ninety degrees, uh, then cos a is zero, and so this whole term just disappears and it reduces to Pythagoras theorem that says in a right angle triangle where a is 90 degrees a squared equals b squared uh, plus c squared. Um, for other cases uh, what I've got here, I've just redrawn this triangle so we've got a, b, c and the angle a we don't need angles b and c because they don't appear in the formula um, and I've just re, um, taken, this, taken this side c and split it into the into two parts here x and c minus x where this uh, perpendicular line here has created right angles on both sides um, and the reason that that's useful is because I can now look at this uh, height uh, h uh, in two different ways. So I could see it as a part of this triangle on the left, and um, doing that would give us uh, that by Pythagoras' theorem, h squared plus c minus x squared equals a squared, or uh, I could write that as. Uh, h squared uh, equals a squared minus c minus x squared um, or I could look at h as part of this triangle where by Pythagoras theorem uh, we'd have that h squared plus x squared equals b squared or h squared uh, equals b squared minus x squared so I've got two different ways of writing uh, h squared here uh, this one and this one so we can put them equal to each other. So a squared minus c minus x squared equals b squared minus x squared. And so let's see what happens uh, when we uh, multiply this out. So we get a squared minus c squared plus x squared uh, minus 2cx equals b squared minus x squared. I'm being really careful with this minus outside the brackets here. So I get a squared minus c squared minus x squared plus 2cx equals b squared uh, minus x squared. And that means that I've got x minus x squared on both sides here that cancel. And putting everything over to the right hand side gives us a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2cx. This is almost looking like the cosine rule now. And to get the cosine rule, we've just got to look at this triangle here and say, well, okay, well, what was um, x in terms of b and a? And again, this is a right angle triangle. And so we've got that cos a is equal to the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse, which is equal to uh, x over b. So x equals b times the cosine of a. So actually substituting that in here, we get a squared is b squared plus c squared, and uh, x is b cos a, so this becomes minus 2bc cos a, and that's exactly the cosine rule. Now, in order to totally prove this in general, I should also consider um, other triangles. For example, if I had a triangle that looked more like uh, this, um, then I can't actually construct this picture exactly, that perpendicular uh, would, would drop down here, and so I'd have to amend the proof slightly. I'm not actually going to do that in this video, I just wanted to give you a sense of, of the proof of the cosine Well, You can look up the other case, um, it's a well-known well proof, but we have pretty much proven the cosine rule, certainly for all cases like this. So let's prove the sine rule as well then, and again I'm just going to do it in this uh, case of a triangle that looks a bit like uh, this one. I'm just going to use AB uh, a and B here. Um, reason being, if I can prove that uh, you know A over sine A equals B over sine B, then there was nothing special about choosing these ones to be A and B. I could have chosen these ones to be A and B, or these ones to be A and B. So I could construct exactly the same sort of picture by changing the angles around. So it's just enough just to prove one part of this, and that will and that will prove the whole thing. And again, we're going to go by this perpendicular uh, line here, uh, the height, and looking at this triangle on the left um, well sine b is equal to the uh, opposite side divided by the hypotenuse which is equal to h over a by your basic uh, trigonometry results and in this triangle here 
we've got that sine A is equal to the opposite divided by the hypotenuse that is equal to uh, H over B so actually if I make these both uh, H equals, make H the subject in each of them, I get H equals A sine B and H equals B sine A so the this height can be expressed in two different ways, either as A sine B or B sine A so we've got A sine B equals B sine A and so um, well that means we've got sine B divided by B equals sine A divided by A or you could have done that the other way around, I could have divided 3 by the sines instead of the A and the B and that would have given us B over sine B equals A over sine A so again I've proven that only for this sort of triangle we'd have to adjust our proof slightly for a triangle that uh, doesn't have a perpendicular, where you can't just drop a perpendicular uh, like this, you know, triangle where, which went down here, say, so the perpendicular is outside of the base of the triangle. But again, I just wanted to give you a sense of uh, what these proofs look like. So.